Welcome everyone. Today we will see how Ansible play an important role in editing file and restart the services on multiple hosts. And this playbook will help you in some special type of requirement where you have 100 or 200 hosts in your operation environment and you want to configure or you want to edit some line in some configuration file and on, at the same time you want to start the services. In this type of particular requirement, this playbook will make your life so simple. As before running this playbook on your Ansible server, let's understand how this Ansible playbook will work. So I have created an Ansible playbook, ssh.yml, right? And this playbook has three important requirements. You can say first host, second task, and third name. As you know, host has the same uh, group name where your host server information within the IP address are given, right? Task define what we want to do, right? Here we want to edit a configuration file where I want to change some line, I want to edit or modify some line that we can do with this playbook and we can start the service. So here I have give, taken an example of SSH server where I want to configure the SSH configuration file and I will search one line in this configuration file i will edit that line and start the service here we have only the sample of the yaml file in our server we will see whole yaml configurations and the playbook right so once this playbook created your ansible server will run this playbook by looking into the host and get the information of these two hosts and run the task in these two hosts here ansible will access the host server through ssh protocol and perform the task and also inform you whether this task is successfully completed or not. So guys, to perform this task on Ansible server, let's open your Ansible server. We will perform the same operation on the Ansible server. Guys, now we'll have a look on the playbook which we have created for editing the SSH config file. This is the playbook. So we will first open this playbook, ssh.yml. Guys, this three line will be same as we have already discussed in our previous playbook. But yes, this host is very much required because this host will decide where you want to run this playbook. So this host has this group information where host one and host two servers are defined in this slash etc inventory file of the sensible server. Will have to become yes for your local user and will also have to provide sudo permission, right? so that your local user can also run this playbook. Handlers in playbook will notify the task. That means what you are going to perform. So it will give you the notification, right? Like service is restarted and the service name is SSHD. So it will show you in the output of the Sensible that we will see the notification. Task is very important where we will define what we are going to do. So in this playbook, what we will do we will edit this configuration file ssh underscore config so you know this configuration file has a lot of lines so you will have to search the particular lines where you want to edit so first of all line in file you will show the destination where this file is so destination will be slash etc slash ssh slash ssh d underscore config this is the file name and this is the folder where this file are kept now we will we will give this regex to search the line item so you will define regex for search and item dot regex right and you will have to define the item where you want to perform this task in which line you are going to execute right and now line will be item dot line in with underscore item we will define this above two lines information right so the first which we want to search where you want to perform the task so regex will search the line so line will be what not and commented permit login so whatever is not commented in line permit login it will search it right and once it search this permit root login and then in this we will perform what we want to do we want to change it to no if it is yes it will change it to no right and this is this will notify you to restart the SSH service and we have tagged that we have successfully added this SSH underscore config file. This is the way you can 
edit your configuration file you can also change and modify n number of lines in a configuration file so suppose if you have some special type of requirement where you have thousand of server in operation and on all thousand servers you want to change some line in you in any configuration file you can change it you can perform such task using this playbook and reduce manpower with no manual error now we will save and run this playbook And simple playbook and name of your playbook that is ssh.ym. Enter. The sensible server will take around two three seconds to complete the task. So this server collect the information of the host through this playbook. So we have two host that is 192.168.43.20 and the second one is 192.168.43.10. So what are the tasks which he has done on both the server. So as per the playbook, it will search the line where you want to modify, right? So it will do regex and this not comment. That means if it is commented, it will uncomment this permit root login to no, right? And what is the modification this playbook has done? You will get in this line. So permit root login will be no, right? And then in the same way it will do for this second host regex this uh, permit root login and then it will uncomment it and put no in place if it is yes right now handler will notify you that we are going to run this SSHD service in these two hosts and the last line where player recap will inform you whether the task is performed or not so you can see the task is performed successfully ok equal to 3 and changed equal to 2 so change that means this playbook has done two things first it removed this has sign and add no in place of yes now this playbook has performed successfully on both the host and if you see in this ssh underscore config file you will get permit login equal to no in both the host. If you want to check, you can also check it. So this command will confirm you the change and Sybil. Then the group name test server, which has the host information hyphen M command hyphen A. Then we have to search. So use grab and not permit Okay, and login. Okay, make it single code. So this will search. Okay, the line in the files. So this file is located in slash etc slash ssh slash ssh d underscore config. Okay, and enter. So it would confirm that we have run successfully the task on both the host machine because we are not able to reach the host server using Ansible because SSH permission is denied. Why? Because permit root login is edited to no. Now, no any server can access these both host machine using SSH. So if you want to access this server, you have to change root permit root login equal to yes. Then this server will go and get the output. I can show you if you do SSH root and then and the IP address 192.168.43.10. You cannot log into the server. Check. See, you will get permission denied. The only way to log in back into the host server is possible when you change the SSH config file. So, first go in slash etc ssh slash ssh d underscore config file. Enter and revert the change what you have done with your playbook. Now, you can see the remote login is no. So, no any other 
server can log in, log in into this host because you can see permit root login equal to no either comment it or change it to yes right so write yes and save and start SSH service so system here we start okay this is the service name and now change the second host so etc ssh slash ssh d underscore host okay enter and go to the line in the same way comment or make it yes right in the second server as well and save the file and start restart the service system ctl restart sshd okay now we will go back to ansible server and if you write you will get and see if you run the command now it will go and search this remote root login from ssh underscore config file friends now you can see we are able to log in successfully into both the host because we have revert back the change from permit root login no to yes on both the host machine so here we have seen how this playbook can help us to change any line in, in, into the config file and restart the services friend now you can understand how this sensible playbook is important in case you have a bulk task to perform on thousands of servers in which you want to edit any file or multiple lines in a file so you can use this sensible playbook and ease your task you can easily perform your task and save a lot of time so guys in the next video i will come with another playbook till then take care and bye thanks for watching the video